It's always a pleasure to introduce friends to flying a light sports aircraft. Today it's my lovely Jabiru J230. Today friend Wayne gets a ride from home base at Murray Bridge for a very short flight to Aldinga for a cup of coffee and some delicious cake. Come with us as we enjoy the still morning air. Enjoy. Uh, uh, we're done. Trim set. Good to go. Green. I'll be up by the time we get there. Nothing coming on to land. Traffic Murray Bridge. Jabiru 8606 entering and backtracking 19 Murray Bridge. All good. Make sure nothing coming the wrong way. No, all good. So this is our GPS so we can see where we're going. Wow. Also alerts us to other aircraft that are around. Yep. That one's a little blue thing's up. An aircraft. This is very clever, it also tells me we've got rising ground coming up in here. Okay, around we go. All good to go? All Looking shut? Good. Yep, good to go. All in the green. Yeah, take as many pictures as you like. Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabber 8606, line up and rolling 19. Departure to the southwest, Murray Bridge. Hold it off. And we're airborne. Woohoo! Traffic Murray Bridge, Jabber 8606, departing up Witten Runway 19. On climb 2500, track southwest, Murray Bridge. Go. Old Inca's over there. This, oh, is, wow. this is our direction. That's yeah, us. Yeah. And that black line is the direction I'm pointing, and the pink line is where I've got to I'd basically yep. track yep. toward. Don't that's your to flight path? Yeah, that's the path. We've got this blue line here is controlled airspace. So I'm not allowed into it. Yep. Um, so I, rather than go across the corner, yep. I go around a little bit. Yes. And we've got landmarks out here that we can follow, but uh, just for safety, we stay away from airspace. And over here, this is coming from the computer, it's telling me that variable winds and they're light, so there's no yeah. wind. No wind. So it'd be great for water skin. Yeah. <laughs> well, traffic, Jabbo 5246, Johnny Midfield, crosswind 01 at 900, precautionary search, all those traffic. So you'll hear, just like in a motor car, yep. um, is a way of at least you're getting an understanding of what we're doing. So the engine runs at around about 3,000 revs yep. full power. We always use full power for takeoff. Yes. And for climbing, not like a motor car. Yep. It's always foot to the floor. Um, but in cruise, we bring it back about 300 revs, yep. which uh, improves uh, fuel significantly. So now we're burning 22 litres an hour. At about 2,700 will come down to about 20. Right, okay. Um, so when you think 20 litres an hour, but we're doing 100 knots, yep. which is nearly 200 kilometres an hour. Wow, What okay. we're doing now. Quite so well. We roughly double it, it's not yep. exactly correct, but close enough. So that's telling us our height. Yep. So we're at, at uh, 2,400 feet, everything's in feet. And over my side, this gives me more information, so this is like 100 knots exactly the same yep. as that. Um, gives me all the engine temperatures and pressures. And all the stuff to monitor while we're flying. We can't call the RAA if we have a no, problem. Not up here. No, it doesn't work up here. It's telling me I can go up and down. So if I, if I point the nose up, we're doing 250 foot a minute. Now we're going up at three, four, wow, okay. 500 foot a minute, 600, 700. So we're climbing, but we're yep. slowing down. Yes. Here the engine start to labour. Yep. So we don't need to go much higher for now. So at what altitude do you generally fly? Okay, that's a good question. So if we are tracking to the western side of the half yep. of the, the compass, anything basically from south across to north, yep. this side, we want to be at even 2,500 and 4,500. Okay. In the two cruising levels, if you will. That's um, a set thing for everybody. That's a set one. Yep. Under a certain height limit. 
and going the other way, like from south around to west to north, uh, on this side is 1,500, 3,500, okay. 5,000. Yep. So you go up in, it's odds and evens. Yep. So that's 2,500, 4,500, that's 1,500, 3,000. So it doesn't feel like you're doing 200 kilometres an hour, no, does it? But there's Strath Alb, you can see the silos just ahead there. Okay, yep. Is this air smooth or what? It's very smooth. There's Cowlington, that's the highway, the freeway yep. there. Just came up. Much quicker way of travelling. And it's a straight road, a straight line. No one no, else. traffic, Charlie 5246. So now we go to a different frequency. So different frequencies depending on where we are. Okay. So, so if I get into trouble, I just flip that up. 13045 and I can call Melbourne Centre so I'm in trouble. Send the Mounties look for me. Yeah, you know, we're, I don't know, five miles to the south of Callington. Yep. Engine failure, whatever we have, whatever the problem is. I'll have to look at this now. So there's Callington, that's us, tracking for Beth Alp. Oh, straight. Yeah. Wow. Tells me how far I've got 11 miles to go. GPS is calculating our altitude at 2,900. Yep, they're within 100 feet, that's quite okay. We just sit back and I can't do nothing. Quite simple. But that's your throttle. So that's the throttle, that's the accelerator, yep. yep. So. Yep. And because there's no gearbox, yep. it's quite responsive. Yep, so if, if I just if I just increase the speed now, you'll you feel it increasing. Yeah, feel that. Feel the G's pushing yep. you back a bit. Yeah, it's not massive. No, but no. the minute you take it away. There. So that's his track. Wow. So he's um, 1,500 feet above me. Another one going into Edinburgh. Yeah. There's a lot of information there for us. Tells us here these are active restricted areas, so they're doing firing counters off at Wakefield or something like that. Yes. Stay away from that. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. I beg your pardon. It'll oh, turn right. into the corner. Yep. Okay. But if I if I bank it, yep. like you would in a motorbike, you watch the nose this time. It goes that way. Oh right, okay. Okay. So to do a turn, we have to coordinate our feet and the stick together. Of course. So if I want to turn now, if I yep. just bank it slowly, you'll see the nose will come around with me. Yep. Oh, okay. Now we're turning. Yep. Just have around there. I'm gonna go back again, same thing. So it's a really it's a game of this little ball here. Yep. Trying to keep it roughly in that cage. Yep. If I don't do it properly, if I just push it, the ball will come out in one right. Yep. So not coordinating it. And it will progressively make people sick because you're flying sort of sideways. Yes. Not a comfortable feeling. Yeah, so then it's just a matter of basically watching these. It's a yep. cool day today, so it's quite okay. Um, oil pressure's we basically say everything's in the green. Oil's cool. Yep. Uh, oil pressure's it's nice, good. nice yep. and green. Plenty of fuel. There's the two fuel tanks. Yep. Uh, 22 litres an hour. Battery's charging, 13.1 volts. When good. these start to go a bit, whoa, that one's increasing. That's when you've got to think about going somewhere else. Yep. Moment we're fine. So now we change frequencies and listen to 12715. So the old digger has its own frequency. Raven 11, and right heading uh, 270 vectors. Yes, old digger has its own radio frequency, so we can talk to people in this area. But they're looking around, there's no one around, that doesn't mean to say they're not here, so... Correct. Like driving, you've just got to keep your eyes open. So we've got 13 miles to run. Wow. Everything's in miles, of course. Yes. Think pilots, we have to... Again, it doesn't mean anything really, it's just a number. It would be 64, pretty good, good enough, look at it. Yep. It's whatever your measure is. So when we come into land, um, we always have a bit of a landing brief with someone who hasn't been up before. Yep. Um, we'll overfly the top of the field and have a look, unless they make calls, to uh, see what the wind's doing down here, because it could be very different from Murray Bridge. Yep. Uh, we've got a multitude of runways we can use. Oh, wow. uh, we have a lot of runways here, there's about six of them. And um, for the last two or three minutes we have silence in the cockpit, unless you see something. Yep. See okay. a bird or another aircraft yes. or something that's wrong. Yep. 
you yell out like all hell, but we have silence just because of the landing parts, the concentration yep. part. This bit's the easy bit. Relatively easy. Blue sky today, look. Yeah, if we're lucky on the way back, um, we'll get above that sit on top of the cloud. It's just beautiful. You can just sit on it like it's wow. like a magic carpet Amazing. ride. Beautiful. Magic carpet ride. Yeah. So this is air coming over the hills. That's yep. why it's a little bit more bouncy. Still quite safe, quite normal. So we're going to start our descent now. May not better see, see see the town on the edge of the water there. Yep. Just where the town finishes on the left. Yes. Come forward. There's two white hangars, yellow hangars. Yeah, I think I can see them. Yeah. There's a road coming off the edge of the town. Yep. They're just to the left of the road. There's two quite large hangars. That's the airport. Holding a traffic Jabiru 8606 is uh, 7 miles to the east at uh, 3400 inbound circuits. Estimate circuits in 3 minutes. All dinger. So, landing lights on, fuel pump on, carby heat on. What sort of coffee do you want? What sort of coffee do you want? Short black. Uh, Jack, this morning, can we have a short black, black and a long black, if, if you're hearing? Thanks. <laughs> Be ready when we get there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's exactly the same as your business, it's, it's service. And this young guy, he's a lovely guy, he's going to teach me to fly a new plane shortly. And normally when Pauline and I arrive, arrive, we just get two coffees presented. Everyone else is waiting, we get our coffee, because we come here every week. So why wouldn't you? They get all the business. Like it. Yeah. See the runway there yep. now? Yep. So what we're going to do is have a look at the windsock, just make sure we know which way the wind's blowing, which I think I can see from here. So I can. That's cool. I can't. It's going that way. Yep. Okay. Right hand circuit. Traffic Jabber 8606 joining midfield crosswind uh, 21. Are you uh, ordering it? Okay, straps in, you're all strapped up still. Belt them up. Yep, yep, good. All the harnesses are done. Plenty of fuel, yep. Carby heat, fuel pump, ready to land. So this is where we have silence now. Slash flap. All dinger traffic, Jabber 8606, base uh, 21, full stop, all dinger. And if for any reason the, the land goes haywire, I'll accelerate completely. Just take off and get up in the air again. The Eagle has landed. Lovely landing. I had to do a good one for you. <laughs> Traffic Oldinger, Jabiru 8606 for Canada Runways. Oldinger. 